How's it going lads? Two Mums here and welcome back to the YouTube channel. So basically, I've got a brand new trading video for you today. So obviously we've been doing a, a series of trading videos. We did our first one I think about two days ago. Uh, this is going to be our second trading method where we're going to go through it. I'm going to explain the trading method and then I'm actually going to go away and I'm going to sit there for 30 minutes or so, do the trading method myself and show you guys how much money I have made after 30 minutes or so of doing this method, all right? So it doesn't just give you an overview of the method because, you know, people lie. People say, oh, I made 100K doing this method when really they didn't. So I actually proved to you guys how much you can make doing this method um, as well as obviously explaining the method and showing you how to do it. So if you guys want to have a quick update on the thing, we've got a few cards here that we're just waiting to sell tonight. It's rewards tonight. Uh, the market's been heading up. We've got some really good prices on this foot birthday, so we should make some really, really good money. If you're in the live stream, uh, I'm sure you guys jumped on some as well because I mentioned it a fair few times in the live stream. All right, let's head over. So the method we're going to be looking at today is the League SBC Silver Method. Now, once again, this is a very basic method, all right? We're going to start with easier methods, move on to some harder methods at the end of the series. So this is another easy, low-budget method. I would be doing this method if I had, I mean, look, you can, even if you've got 200K, you can do this method, but this method is specifically really effective if you've only got 50, 60, 70K and under, all right? So you haven't got enough money to really, um, you know, snipe or to be doing special bidding method or anything like that because, you know, you'd only be able to buy a couple cards. Because you're dealing with silvers here, with only 50K, you still have the buying power to buy 50 cards or 100 cards. Um, before you run out of money. So yeah, so this is definitely for a more lower budget. Like I said, you can still do this with a higher budget, but this is where I'd be starting if you're sitting on 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80K kind of thing, you know what I mean? Pretty much maybe anywhere under 100K, I'd probably be starting here. All right, so basically all it is, is we go to the transfer market. is one of the best leagues to use. Ligon, Syria, uh, the Bundesliga, and the La Liga, all right? They are the best leagues to use for this method just because they're the main leagues and the silvers in those leagues are demanded a lot more and prices are a lot higher for those ones, all right? So you've got less chance of getting, you know, really, really cheap ones. Now, what I like to also do We'll start with the Premier League. Obviously, the Premier League I find is the best, but if there's too much competition in the Premier League, go to one of the other main leagues, come back to the Premier League later. Because sometimes there's already a few people doing this method on that league, so you just go to one of the other leagues and come back. Now, what I also like to do is I like to set it to basic. You don't need to do this, but what that does is it gets rid of all the, uh, the goalkeepers. Because goalkeepers have their own basic, goalkeeper basic and normal basic. So goalkeepers are usually some of the cheapest card, the silvers in the game. So to just get rid of this, the goalkeepers, I go to that basic, and that just basically gives me all the outfield players um, without any goalkeepers being in there. Now, next thing you want to do is just search up and find out what the minimum price for a silver in the Premier League is. So right now, the minimum selling price is 600. So there you go, and they're all up to 58th minute. So they're all selling, obviously. 58th minute as far as it goes. 600 coins is the minimum. So if that's the minimum, you already want to set your parameters to maybe 550, 500. You can either snipe, so you could set it at 500 here, and you could sit here and snipe. Uh, they're gonna, they pop up regularly. I do tell you that they will pop up regularly. And um, obviously, if you get a cheap one, one of the cheapest ones, you're only going to make 100 coins profit. But people don't realize how expensive silvers can be. So people sell. 2,000 coin silvers, 1,000 coin silvers, 1,500 coin silvers for, you know, prices like 500 and 300 and stuff like that. So you actually find that you won't just snipe the cheap ones. You also snipe ones that are worth 1,000 coins, 2,000 coins, etc. I mean, there you go. Okay, I didn't win that one because I was a bit slow, but 350 coins for that card. Let's have a quick look what that card would have sold for. 
and that card's selling for about 900 coins. So there, that would have been a 500 coin profit on that card right there. Um, now, the way I like to do it the more is I like to bid. I find bidding a lot more effective. So I'll set my parameters to about 550 because the minimum selling price is about 6650. And I'll legit go bid on every single card here for 550 coins. Now, you're not going to win every single card. It's just impossible. You're not going to win every single card. But if you go and bid on a large amount of these cards, if you go and bid on, say, 20 Premier League ones, you then go to the Serie A, you bid on 20 Serie A cards, you then go to the League N, you bid on 20 League N cards, you're going to win a large chunk of them. All right? I'll tell you that much right now. You are going to win a large chunk. If you bid on 20 cards, there's probably a good chance you will win at least, you know, four of them. So if you're doing 20 in the Serie A, 20 in the Prem, next thing you know, you've, you've wasted, what, five, 10 minutes, and you've won 10, 15 cards. And now, even if you're only making four or 500 coins profit on each card, I mean, if you've got 15 of them, you know, it, 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 uh, sorry, it adds up. You could be making seven, 8K profit, and you've just made that in the space of five, 10 minutes. So, and you can see, look how regularly they're popping up. Look, these are all under a minute, and look how many are already coming through. So that's how quickly these cards also come through, and how quickly things... Also as well, if you get more effective at this, you can actually start reading the market a bit because I'm saying bid on all of them at 550. And that's because you want to be safe and you know the worst ones sell for uh, 650 coins. But I know for a fact, left backs, right backs, center backs, stuff like that always sell for more. So this right back I just won for 550, I guarantee you that's going to sell for more than the minimum price of which was what, 600. That's probably going to sell more for like a thousand coins plus. So, and as you get an idea as well, once you start selling these cards, you start remembering prices. So the next time you come back in, you know, you remember, oh, I sold this guy for 1,500 coins a second ago. He's down at five, you know, boom. So I know, you know, you can maybe bid a little bit higher, maybe up to 700 coins if you have to. So that's just an example, right? So let's have a quick look at how many I just won. So I just bid on nine cards in about two minutes. And look, I won one, two, three, four, five, five out of eight cards that I bid on. And I'm probably about to win a sixth right there. So that's how many I've just won. And I will be able to sell these guys for probably a bit of profit, man. Like I said, probably not insane, but it wouldn't surprise me if, you know, he's probably worth about seven, 800. He's probably worth, I think he's a minimum one. So he's probably about 650. He's probably a left winger is normally more. He's probably at close to a thousand coins. Um, so yeah, basically that is the method. That's how easy it is. And you can do that with all of the leagues. Like I said, while you bid on a bunch of, you might go bid on 20 Premier League ones while you're waiting for those to, the time to run out on those. I'll just then go across to the league in. Do the same thing with the league in. Check out what the minimum price is on a card. So the min, these are selling for 400 minimum, maybe 450. Let me have a quick look. Yeah, so 450. If you list it up for 450, you'll sell it. So... I'll set my price to say 400. And once again, just go bid on every card here for around that. I, this guy will sell for more because he's a left back. That's why I bid on him above the 400 mark. But just go bid on all these cards for 400. And yeah, you do it for every league and you're all good. All right, guys. So that's the explanation of the trading method. Very, very easy as you're seeing. I'm going to go off now. I'm probably going to do 20, 30 minutes of this trading method. Um, and I'll come back to you guys in a second and show you how many cards I've been able to buy, um, and how much profit we think we are making over that space of time. So yeah, appreciate you guys so far, and I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alrighty guys, welcome back. So I basically actually only did, well, I actually timed it. So we did exactly eight minutes and 52 seconds of trading. I mean, I was going to do longer, but I actually won a shitload of cards on my just first run through. So I was like, there's no need for me to really, to show this method works. There's no really need for me to keep going through and, and doing this longer and longer because I do have things I need to get done. So basically I'll show you all the cards we bought. Uh, it took me eight minutes and 52 seconds. That included buying the cards and listing them up on the market. So doing both those things. Um, You'll see some of them have been up for about 15 minutes now though, obviously because it took me about seven or eight minutes to, I wrote down everything, uh, what I bought them for, what I sold them for, what they're selling for, and how much profit I have made on my calculator here. So I actually should probably write the total in. 
Um, so obviously that took me a little bit longer to work out. But basically I'll show you the cards and the general profits. Now, like I said, guys, the profit margins aren't massive on these cards. You're only making, I mean, you'll get lucky here and there, right? So the longer you do it, the luckier you get. I didn't get very lucky um, doing this method. So, you know, I made a good amount still, but obviously my margins were all like 400 coins, 100 coins, 50 coins, you know, 500 coins. But, you know, if you do this long enough, you will hit ones where, you know, you get a bid of 500 coins and the card's worth 3,000 or 4,000 or 2,000. And that'll actually happen quite regularly. It'll happen a lot more regularly than you think. Um, so quickly going through, these are the ones that have already sold. Uh, as you can see here, all of these cards I bought for anywhere. I didn't pay over 550 for any card. So I think the Premier League ones I was bidding 550 for. Uh, the Serie A thing I was bidding like 450 for those ones, the Bundesliga, I think I was bidding 450, and the Ligue 1, I think I was bidding like 500. So basically, didn't pay over 550 any card. And most of these cards, they were only the Premier League ones. Most of them, like the other leagues, I only paid like 450 uh, for. Yeah, on my list, yeah. Most of them I probably paid. The average card, probably I probably bought for four to 450. And then the Premier League ones were like 550 because they're a bit more expensive. And as you say, 700, 650 sold, 700, 600, 700, 650, 600. 500, 1,000, 900. Uh, and then these ones are all obviously still selling for these amounts. This is how much they sell for. So 650, 850, 650, 550, 500, 700. So as you can see, like, you know, a lot of the cards I bought are only, you know, they're only worth, like I said, you're going to get lucky here, but most of them are only worth anywhere between 700, 600 to 1,000 coins. But I bought them all for, you know, about 400 to 450 coins. Now, Basically, I wrote it down here so I can actually go through the cards if you want to exactly things like, you know Dibasi 450 we bought for sold for 850. Sorry about my pronunciation guys. I'm gonna get some of these names wrong uh, Flecker 500 bought for 500 sold for 950 Baku bought for 450 selling for a thousand um, Ferrari bought for 400 selling for 700 Limbom bought for 400 selling for 550 uh Dasasi bought for 350 selling for 650 so that just gives you an idea and they're slowly selling as a uh, look you can see yeah, another another one or two just sold um you you normally they will sell within the hour sometimes you have to list them up twice but most of them should like i said i only listed these cards up about 10 15 minutes ago and already over half of them or half of them are sold and it's just the other half that are uh, we're waiting on but they will sell um there you go another one just sold then so basically, overall, in 8 minutes and 52 seconds, that included, like I said, buying them, listing them up on the market and everything, uh, we made 5,700 coins. 5,700 coins. So let's quickly work that out, right? So 5,700 coins in 9 minutes. So let's just, let's just round it up so we can get a thing. So 10 minutes, and let's say I would have made 6.3. 6 6,300 coins in 10 minutes, all right? So if I'd done it for that extra minute longer, so 6,300 times that by six, and that is just under 40K. Just under 40K in an hour. So there you go. So that is basically the method um, today. Very, very easy. No market knowledge needed, no brain needed. You just go through and bid on everything and then list everything up. Uh, it doesn't take that much time to do it. Like I said, the profits aren't, insane but this is what you have to do when you've got no money the more money you have the more money you can make i mean i think everyone's heard that in real life it takes money to make money right so the more money you have the more money you can make if you've got a million coins you can make a lot more you know if you've got 500 coins you're going to make more than if you've had hundred thousand coins so when you're working this is like i said this is a method for about 100k or under people who've got 50k 30k 20k 70k uh the margins are smaller but I mean, you sit here and do this for two hours, even if you're only making, like I said, you might get lucky. So I can actually normally make anywhere between 30 and 70K doing this method. So I made about 40K, what was it? Yeah, four, I made just under 40K just then in an hour it would have been. Normally if I did this for an hour, I make from what I've done it when I, because this is how I start when I start my road to glory at the very start of the year. This is the method I'm like doing a lot of this. Um, I can make anywhere between 30 to 60, 70K an hour. So if you get a bit luckier. So yeah, so basically, you know, you do that for a couple hours, even if you're making the 40K I just made, that's 80K in two hours. You've just turned your 50K into 130K. 
And now once you've got 130K, maybe you can try doing one of the bigger methods, like the special bidding card method I went through two days ago in my other video. And that can start making you a little bit more money, a little bit higher profits, where I think we were making 60K an hour. We made 20K in 20 minutes, which would have been about 60K in an hour. So as you can see, higher budget methods um, with higher budgets and stuff like that are gonna give you larger rewards. But yeah, hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, please, please, please smash the like button, subscribe to the channel, guys. We're gonna be putting out daily videos or every second day videos. I really wanna try and kickstart the channel. So yeah, I uh, appreciate you guys. And if you wanna see all of this kind of stuff live, trading, gameplay, packs, everything, we're doing a 24 hour stream this Saturday, um, then yeah, come check out the live stream, twitch.tv slash two mums. The links will be in the bottom. But yeah, appreciate, love you all. Peace out, lads.